What's up guys, welcome back to All Wings Everything. I am your cook, Spinelli, and yes, I am the self-proclaimed wing king and the prince and ruler of all lemon pepper wings. God, I gotta close my eyes when I say that because damn, it feels good to be the prince of lemon pepper. I wish you guys knew how that felt to be the prince of lemon pepper. Now click that link above me and I'm gonna show you guys how to make the best lemon pepper wings on the planet and you will respect the lemon pepper. All right, respect the lemon pepper. Now, in today's video, I got another easy appetizer recipe. I'm gonna show you guys how to make shrimp and grits appetizer cups. Now, if you're from the South, you already know, we do shrimp and grits all the time, or sometimes fish and grits. That's just how we do it down South. I'm from Alabama, so you guys already know, I'm already on something like this. So, but in this recipe, we're just gonna just minimize the portions of it and we're gonna put it in these little appetizer cups, but the flavor and the taste is still the same. So, I hope you're in your kitchen. I'm already in mine, so let's go. All right guys, so here are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe. What we have here, we have uh, some shrimp, which is the star of the show. Now I'm using the frozen, already peeled, Devane shrimp, um, because I didn't wanna go through the cleaning of the shrimp for this recipe. But always keep in mind guys, whenever I'm doing some type of uh, fried shrimp or something like that, I'm definitely using fresh uh, shrimp. I have to on that for something like this. I use some frozen shrimp. So what we have, we have whole milk here, some instant grits, sea salt, some cheddar cheese, my second favorite all-purpose seasoning, adobo. I already told you guys, I'm not about to argue with you. Lyra's is number one. If you don't have that Lyra's in your house, do not invite me over. Matter of fact, don't even speak to me, all right? Or you might get, you can have adobo. I'll come over if you got some adobo. All right, I, I, I'll do that. Okay, minced garlic, black pepper, butter, and some bacon. So these are the ingredients we're gonna use, so let's move on. All right, so I've already measured out our ingredients, so let me tell you what we have right here. I have three cups of milk. I have 20 shrimp peeled, deveined, and I took off the tail. Six packets of, of instant uh, grits, which is about six ounces. I have a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, a fourth of a cup or crumbled bacon, whatever you want to call it. I have a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm sorry, a teaspoon of salt. I have a teaspoon of an adobo seasoning. I have a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic. I have a half a teaspoon of pepper and four tablespoons of butter. So these are the ingredients we're gonna use. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to season our uh, shrimp. With, your, with our adobo season, I got a, uh, like I said, I got a teaspoon of that. You can put a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, just depending on how much you want. I'm gonna do a teaspoon on mine, and we're just gonna get this thing all mixed up. And again, you can use whatever type of seasoning you want on your shrimp. Um, I mean, you can just use regular salt and pepper, or you can use Lyrie's or some Creole season, Cajun season, whatever floats your boat. Uh, but I wanna use this adobo seasoning for this one. So that's what we have, so let's move on to the next step. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare our shrimp first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little olive oil into this pan and let it heat up and let it come up to temperature. And once it comes up to temperature, then we're gonna add our shrimp and we're gonna get those cooked uh, first. All right, so let's bring this up to temperature. We'll be right back. All right, so let's go ahead and add our shrimp. And we're gonna let those, these bad babies cook for about, I would take about two to three minutes. Shouldn't take long, these are small shrimp. Also, let's add our garlic. Definitely wanna have that garlic in there, all right? And we're gonna allow this to cook. We don't wanna burn our garlic, so we definitely wanna turn it down a little bit. All right, so it looks like our shrimp are done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this off and I'm going to 
add our shrimp back into this bowl. All right, so this is what we have right here. We have our shrimp, cooked shrimp, and then we have some of that, um, our cooked garlic and a little of that olive oil in there. And so we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start preparing our grits. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna add our three cups of milk. And along with the milk, we're gonna add our, the little triplets from our uh, cooking our shrimp. Those are, this is the garlic and the olive oil. So we're gonna bring this to a boil. All right, so we're almost up to temperature with the milk. Looks like it's coming to a boil. And as soon as this comes to a boil, what we wanna do is we wanna reduce the temperature and bring it down to a simmer and then add our grits. All right, so let's go ahead and add our grits. Our butter, salt, and our pepper. And we're gonna bring this down to a simmer. And we're just gonna give this thing a, just gonna mix it up like that. We wanna make sure you get all the lumps out of it. And what we wanna do is we wanna make sure we get all of the butter melted. And you're gonna mix this here for about two or three minutes. Now that all the butter is melted, what we're gonna do now is we're going to add our cheese. This is a half a cup. Let's get all that cheese, man. We do not leave any cheese. And we're just gonna get this thing mixed up like this. And I'm gonna turn this down because this is the desired consistency I like my grits. I don't like them to be real watery, nor do I like them real thick and lumpy. I like them exactly like this. This looks, this looks good. Take a look at that, guys. You know some guy, I don't normally do this while I'm cooking, but this looks so good, I'm gonna have to taste a little bit. Let's see what this tastes like. Hey. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna even tell you what it tastes like. You can imagine, this looks good. All right guys, so now that this is done, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and add these to our, our cups, and then I'll be right back. All right, so this is what we have right here. Uh, left, we have our, our cooked grits now. We have our shrimp, and we have our bacon bits. So let me go ahead and get this prepared in our cups, and I'll be right back with the final product. All right, so I've already put our grits in the cup, so let's start adding our um, shrimp. That's about six right there. Start adding these shrimp over here. This is looking delicious. Six, let's add another one there. Just for greens, all right? Let's pull some of that, that juice over there that's got in here. Some little bit of butter right there. I'll add that, give it a little bit of additional flavor, y'all. All right, what do you think about that right there, guys? All right, so what we're gonna do now, so I'm gonna add these bacon bits on the top of here like that. Oh, yes. All right, what do you guys think about that? All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and finish dressing this up and I'll be right back. And there you have it, guys. Shrimp and grits appetizer cups. Guys, what do you think about that? Look at this, man. This is beautiful, delicious. Guys, you can, you can have these out, make this and have these out when people come over for a small appetizer, or you could just make them as individual cups just for yourself and your family. It's very fulfilling. You got the shrimp, you got the bacon, you got the, the grits, man. I'm telling you, this right here is absolutely 
delicious. And I'm going to try something while I'm sitting here. Man, I know you guys always be want me to try the food. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab this one off of here. Look at that. Guys, look at this. So I'm going to dip this in here like this. Look at that. Oh, man, my. Take a look at that. Mm-hmm. This is good. Look at that. Mmm. All right, guys. So, I did leave the me measurements and the ingredients. They're all in the video description below. Also, if you need any of these items, I did put the links in the video description below. That way you can go to Amazon if you need them. And if you need some of that All Wings Everything merch, that link is also in the video description below, guys. And what's most important, if you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button. And also, if it's your first time here and you love easy appetizer recipes and you love wing recipes, and most of all, if you love the Wing King, and the most of all after that, if you respect the lemon pepper, then go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel. And until then, I'm your cook, Spinelli, all wings, everything, and I'm going to get me another bite of this guy, and I am out. Peace.